Hey guys, this is Fiend Friends and I won, and I'm bringing some bad news in a sense, but the Lord is going to work together for my good. So, I'm not miffed, but I kind of have to say this because this really needs to be addressed, and it doesn't seem like it is. Well, you guys know how Activision is pretty strict on banning. Like, when you're banned, all you can do really is appeal the ban by going to their website and appealing it and basically saying your say. But then they just reply to you. They don't tell you why you were banned other than like you've been using unauthorized software or stuff. They don't tell you like which game you did it in or something like that. And this really needs to change because I wasn't even using my Call of Duty account for like the last five months. And I decided to go on that again. And when I went on, they're like, you're permanently banned. I'm like, permanently banned? I haven't been on my account. So I'm pretty sure my account was hacked, right? But somehow, but somehow their security team didn't detect that. And they just say, nope, it's final. And you can't even talk. Like, I'm not even getting them on them about being banned in the first place so much. Because, like, I was banned from League of Legends when someone hacked my account. But I was able to go to Riot, do a support ticket, talk to them, actually, um, like, have a back and forth for, I think, a few days at least, or maybe just a couple of days. And then they were like, oh yeah, it looks like someone was using your account, and like, like someone was else was using your account, and then they undid the ban. But Activision has none of that. It's just like, you do the appeal, and if their security teams either can't find anything, or I'm not even sure what they did, because they don't let you know. So, this just sucks, customer service-wise, because you can't even email Activision, like there's no support email, unless you have like a privacy matter, I believe, because I think that's what they said when I emailed like the privacy one, there's like, if this isn't this, 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 we're not going to respond even. And they have no even customer call line. And they have no, not even like how Microsoft has the live chat on the website. They have none of that. Activision, you need to do better. Like, you guys are too big of a company not to have a support, like, chat line at least. Especially if you're going to be banning people that weren't even using their account. And then somehow you don't detect that their account was hacked. Like, that, at least tell people what they did like with riot games with um league of legends they told me exactly what the interaction was that got me banned with the, even though my account was hacked so later they undid the ban so like this just sucks because you permanently ban someone it's not even like it's a two-week ban if it was like a two-week ban i probably wouldn't be like because i'm like okay well i can't play for two weeks that's fine but this is like a permanent ban and then you don't even really give people a chance to defend themselves other than them just saying what they have to say and then doing like an appeal thing there's no back and forth it's just they say this, they do the appeal thing, and then it's like, boom, okay, well, no. So, Activision definitely needs to change this. Because I don't understand how a big company like this can't have, like, live chat for customer support or even an email back and forth. Like, I don't get it. Activision Blizzard is a huge company. How are they unable to do what other companies are doing when it comes to their customer support? But what do you guys think about this? And have you guys been affected by this? Like being banned even though you weren't using any like malware or anything like that? Or maybe you weren't even using or playing Call of Duty for a while. And when you come back, you realize your account's been banned. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.